G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Wordle, and welcome back to 7 Days and welcome to my brand new base, my new house that I found out in the desert that I'm so excited to be in. We've left all of our safety and all of our comfort way back behind back in the pine forest and risking it to try and bet some, uh, get even some better gubbins, which I'm very excited about. I'm not sure how much longer is left of the night time, but I'm going to get out there nice and early to start back hanging about and seeing what I can find. Just gonna make sure there's no zombies hanging out just outside my front door. No, we're all, all looking good and gravy. Nice, okay. I need to, one of the most pressing things I need to do is go and get some more fuel for my mini bike. Unfortunately, I ran it dry trying to get home last night, which was not particularly crash hot, but that's okay. Get some more fuel, go and hand my quest back to trading over there and keep on cracking along to get some more rewards. Because weirdly, the early stage trader quests give you better rewards than the late game stuff. So I want to take advantage of that. Oh, the sun has just risen. You can see all the god rays peeking through the trees. I love the lighting in this game so freaking much, which means... I can change over to my uh, my XP gogs, not my NVGs for now. You've got 3% fuel in you. That's barely even a sniff. I might... You know what? I might leave you there. I'm going to go get myself my bicycle back out of storage. I may not have enough fuel to ride my mini bike, but fortunately, Spaghetti Legs doesn't take any gas at all. So I'll get that and go old-fashioned. It may be slow, but it's free. I don't have any die for you, sorry, Chief. So you're just going to have to deal with that for a moment. Right, look at all that we have to explore. I found the tradie all the way out here and that big mansion next door to him. If I had the weaponry to do it, I'd probably try and go and take that on, but it's probably a bit ambitious, though. What have I got again? I've got like a tier four. I bought myself a tier four lever action, which I love so much, and a tier four steel spear. So I'm actually doing pretty okay on both of those. How am I doing for skill points, but uh I've got two to spend. Oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Which one of you dictates electric traps? That's battens, which, ugh, gross. Never putting any points into you. That's uh, turrets and things. I like that calculated attack. That's going to be battens as well. I wouldn't mind. Maybe advanced engineering then. Electrical trap kills. I think it's going to be that one. I wouldn't mind chucking an extra point. Oh, actually, now I've got the XP gogs. So I can go an extra point into you to level up you a little bit more. Although you still need another point for you. But if I start putting points in advanced engineering, then I'll be able to make myself better like blade traps and stuff and really build like a proper whore base that's got to actually help me out rather than just having to manually kill all the zombies. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Also, Derek Adventure also needs level four. So two points into you while I'm wearing my XP gogs. It's going to get extra boosties. Nice. Quickly check the mailboxes while I'm on my adventures for nothing in you. That's a damn crying shame, but that's all good. All right. Time to focus on some missions here, Joshy boy. I want to raid this little broken down uh, plating at POI just next door because there should still be a hidden stash locked away underneath there somewhere. Plus weapons bags and things. So a good... Damn it. Damn it. There you go. A good easy start to the day once I figure out which way my stick's pointing. Oh, and actually, even better, there's a there's a Flopsy having a bath down here. Don't mind me, lad. I'm just going to leave you to it, but a nice easy way for me to get myself some fluids to stare at the water. There it is. Got myself my filtration mod on my helmet, so... Oh, jeez. All right, hang on. I put my... <laughs> I put my spear away because I was having a slurp. Just... Boop you and boop you. That was bloody rude. I was just having my nice morning coffee or whatever this is. And you had to come and ruin that. There's a crawler coming over to say good day to me. That's fine. Flops are going to be all good here. Pat, pat, pat. I promise I won't kill you. No more killing flopsies because, well, they're adorable. How could I? We'll go grab that bag though for nothing. Nothing. All right, we're good. We're good. I've immediately been distracted, but I'm in the desert, so fluids are important. Grab a couple of bits and bobs of gas out of barrels and whatnot. Thank you. Old mate having a nap. Have a forever nap. Catch you later. That was a good bloody shot. Anytime I hit the target first drop with the bow when I don't have my crosshairs, just makes me feel a little bit fizzy. It's unusual to actually be efficient at this game. Especially for me. No one else. No. It's all oh. Yes, someone else. Hold on. G'day, champion. All right, you're going to stay right there. Thank you very much. I need someone with the Bernie touch. Are you presenting to me? Or what are you doing? Catch you later. Sat you down and cheeky-deeky follow-up that 
didn't kill you. Look at that arrow, though. It's right through your eye socket. That should be an instant kill. That should be a bloody instant kill. Got some tier six thighs in here. Not too bad. It's a furious fist. I'll take you and you. Currently wearing tier four, so absolutely and literally gonna whip you over. I'm gonna give you a cheeky repair with a couple of scraps I found. Modify you. Bang you in. Lovely dovely. This little raid has already given me lots of good gubbins, fuel and loot. What more could you want? Quickly open that door. Gonna hear someone gurgling at me. Yeah, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Right. Then, I, I need to figure out where the center of my screen is. You think it wouldn't be so hard to know, gonna look at it every day, but it's a learning curve, and I'm not good at learning things. First things first, all the way up to the very tippy top to get myself the weapons bag for an iron spear, but a spear's book. Thank you very much. I will just scrap you for the iron, take the robotics parts, scrap the camping chair as well. Cheers, big ears. All right. Oh, there's a container down there. I might have to go a gander at as well. <gasps> And a vending machine with candies inside it? Oh, we That's a good bloody get. That's right next door to home as well, which I'm all for. Save waypoint as my rudimentary vending machine icon. Right. I don't really know if I want any of you. A hacker's candy would be good to get some gas out of breaking down cars and whatnot. I'll take you. I'll take all of you as well. And the rock busters for later. That's such a good get. I I had no idea there was even a chance of a vending machine spawning here, but there is, and I'm stoked for it. No one hanging on the back of you. Just some extra petrol. Thank you. All right, let's get this hidden stash to start making moves towards Trady, because well, I don't know what the time is, but I think it's getting pretty on. This pickaxe is so good, dude. One shot in all the rubble makes life so much better. Um, There you go. Got my steel axe as well that I can reach out and touch. Not quite a one shot, but close enough. Ooh, another rifle book and another workstation book. Those are the things I'm after. I would love, though, some extra electrical traps books, if you wouldn't mind. I'm not asking for much, just everything. In fact, I'm edging ever closer to getting tier 3 steel tools as well to upgrade my steel axe. I can have back tier 2, but I'll wait until tier 3 for that extra mod slot. Rifles. I can have back a tier 3, but it's not as good as my tier 4. Oh, look, hang on a second. Oh, no, I've read that wrong. So I need 60 to start making sniper rifles. I would love that. How are my spears looking? Can't make a tier two yet, but we're fine. We're into the steelies. We're doing good. We're making real good progress. Finding that trader on the way to the desert in the wasteland that time and buying those good weaponry. Such a good game changer. I wasn't expecting to find something that good, but when I came across it, I was stoked. Oh, I thought I'd already done this quest. Nope, I haven't. Never mind then. That's all fine. Guess we can't go to tradies just yet. Give you a tickle. Gas can the gas bowsers didn't come back to me. You're broken and there's no more vendor machines inside. But there is some zombies out the back that I have to quickly dispatch. Just a dingo and a couple of lads. Alright, hold on, dingo. Put you down. Oh, and I woke. I woke up old mate inside. Fair enough then. Can I? This, I can't stab through the barbed wire. Look at you. You're right bleeding there. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Boop. There you go. You're going to come over the top. No. <laughs> no, stay away from the dingo. You bastard. Get off him. I need that for my own nefarious deeds. Oh, you prick. Oh, you prick. You made me bleed. No one makes me bleed my own blood. This is just a bit of shambles. This is just a bit of shambles. Old mate's eating me dinner and then someone's clattering me noggin. That sucked. I wasn't really ready to start going through this POI, but apparently I'm going to have to do it now. Was there any doggos or anything? Nah, just a bunch of gas cans and stuff out the back. Thank you. All right, I'll go back around the front. I'll actually do it properly so I don't leave anything behind. That was, um, that was an interesting start to the raid. Not what I had in mind. I know these bowsers give me steel, so I'll break them down. Please pay cashier before pumping gas. What? How? Is that a normal thing in other places of the world? It's definitely not a thing here. How do you pay for the petrol before you've pumped the petrol? How do you know how much you're going to need? Did... Don't know. Don't know. That makes no sense to me. How the dickens is he supposed to predict exactly how much fuel you're going to need? Sure. Sure, whatever. Maybe it's like this weird drive-through banks and it's just a completely normal thing for other people that I have no idea about. That's fine. That's fine. Couple of cultural differences. Never heard anyone. That's just baffled me. Well, weird things about pumping petrol aside. What isn't weird to me is quickly murdering you. Can't take my bolt back. Uh, that's all good. Couple things to loop. I want to clean. 
the zombies first. Old mate's been waiting for his car to be serviced for a heck of a long time. And unfortunately, few of them had to murder the workmen who were doing it. So, gonna be, damn it, a bit of a longer wait for you, Chief. Fuck, I love the spears. Fuck, I love the spears so much. Yeah, you eat Jeffrey so freaking far. And it tickles me pink every bloody time. So good. So good. Gas barrel, give me some petrol, please. Thank you. And some tools. Some duct tape, not too shabby. All right, I'm not here for a good time. Just a long time. Give me everything. There's no sneaky boxes or anything for me. Down below in the pit, just a rifle book. Thank you very much. Always need all of them. Some extra fuel out of you. And some extra fuel out of you. No, we were good. All right. Well, then I guess it's just... Oh, I'm going to leave those behind, though. I guess it's just the backyard to get through that I've already half cleared. G'day, g'day. Anyone waiting for me? Make a bit of a ruckus to try and draw them out. Anything hiding below you? Nope, nothing there. Always always curious about those ones since I found one of those in the skate park that was hiding a cheeky dungeon. Nothing there. But, I mean, my mission was to get myself some fuel, and turns out so far I've done a pretty good job of that. That is a copper hanging out over there. I can hear someone beating on something down below. I'm not too concerned about that. copper just sits. Sit you too. And oh my god, I love the lever action so much. Turns out when I can actually aim and place a shot or two, I occasionally hit the target. That's a ScoMo. Can I drop you so I can see your noggin, please? Not quite. You fell the wrong way, but, oh, you big gelatinous fuck, you're never getting up again. Catch you later. My ammo levels are reasonably good. That's the other good thing about lever action as well, actually. I'm putting so much damage down with each round that I'm conserving my ammo. Like, I've still got my, my AK for when things go really pear-shaped, but for everything else, it's going pretty bloody wonderfully. Nothing else really go around. Get my steel axe out. Kill one shot with a power stroke. That gives me the fizz. Read you. Take you. Anything in this box? Some more petrol and... Ow! Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate me. I hate me so much. How are you... How are you a real fire? How did I get set on fire by some fucking embers? Pour from me. Use your eye... No way. It's going to say use my eyeballs. You know what, gods? You can set me on fire every day, you bloody log. I'm going to give you a tier fucking six crossbow that actually has some fucking iron sights on it too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I might get nude. I'm so glad I came to the fucking desert. The loot here is great. That was also the last book of my sniper series as well. That's got me stoked. That's got me absolutely bleeding stoked. Give me you. Give me the die. I don't know if I can die the crossbow. Actually, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's quickly whack you into there for safekeeping because I have no storage capacity at all. Is the job here actually done? It is done. Nice. We can go back and see old matey trading potato in just a moment. Drop down to there down to there and suck some shit away for me. Uh, yep, you, you, and you. I just want to see, real fast, modify you. Do you get died like everything else does? Modify, that goes in. You do actually, oh, you got some purple tints on ya. That looks great. That looks great. Absolutely stoked with that one, but the purple die is going to stay in my spear. I'll put the black die into you. I can't believe I found a tier 6 kind crossbow in that. That's got me fizzy. The only downside is I don't actually have any bolts on me at the moment. I did have some back at the old base, but I scrapped them for iron during the move. Ah, uh, well, can't win them all, I suppose. But I do have my forges up and running. So whipping up a couple of cheeky spiky things to hurl at zombies at varying speeds. I can do that relatively quickly, I think. Over the gutter. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let's go see Trady Boy and see what he's got for me. If you want to give me a bunch of learning books, I'd love it. G'day, mate. I'm still real jealous of your big berry rug over here. I wish I could make that for myself, but I can't, which is the ultimate Great bear job, tease. Traveler. No learning books. Duct tape, cooling mesh mod, no pipe bombs, kind of tiny, but I think gunpowder is the best option because I can make some more ammo out of that. Oh, I am wearing the right goggles this time. Good job, me. Thank you. Can I see your inventory real fast? Oh, another doubler. Cheeky double storage pocket mod. I... Oh, and you've got... Do I want to pay $750 redo for some Woodle Purple dye? I probably do, to be fair with you. Uh, do you restock today? It may actually be a restock day. It's day 19. So yeah, this would be restock day. There'll be a Derpo at some points. Very interesting. Some rifle books. 
Hmm, okay, an anvil, forged steel. There's actually quite a good bit of garbage in here. Oh, and some eggs too that I'd like to take off you. Tools digest, absolutely. Yeah, you know what? I reckon I'm going to pop anyway. a... Not Thanks that button, you. dickhead. I'm going to pop a cheeky sugar butts. I'll also take... Uh, what's the closest one? They're all a long way away. Yeah, That's the closest one. man. Yeah, no, nah, you're all right. No, you can <laughs> compliments will get you so far. I forgot how to talk there for a second. Well, you used to being complimented like that. Thank you very much. I want to quickly go whack some shit into my bike. Actually, no, I've got some gas now. I'll go back home, change over my bike, get some crossbow bolts on the go, and then I'll come back to you. And then I'll come back to you and buy all that stuff. Fucking jailbreakers, absolutely. I love that I can see the little gaps in the roof that I've... Ooh! that I've built myself. Oh, drop it right on me. Drop it right on me. Sprinkle that derpy goodness all over me noggin. 300 meters away. 300 meters away. How could I say nah? How could I say nah? You're going to give me that slice of hotness. I'm absolutely going to prioritize that. Just trying to pick any fights with any rads or ferals or anything on the way out there. I love being next to a city. There's so many new things to go exploring in here so that I'm real stoked about it. So many good opportunities. It's pretty close to coming down just directly on me noggin. It's not going to be on the roof of a POI, which I'm stoked about. Can I put anything away into you? I know I already had sugar butts in there, but I wanted the extra storage space of the mini bike, and my only issue was my lack of petrol. Oh, come on. Come on. Wouldn't it be nice if you could put, like, if you put a couple rounds in the parachute or something and drop it immediately? G'day, Flops. How are you? Ah, look at you, hopping away like the happy little bunny that you are. Never going to kill any, any bunny rabbits again, unless I absolutely have to. If I'm starving to death, maybe, but not just because they're there. Thank you. Some learning books, a workstation thing as well. Oh, and it's a big stack of lockpicks too. Nice. Um, I'll have to open you up when I get back home again, because I don't have the space for you. Pull up back up here. Going to leave my bike just in the corner of my garage for later. Actually, you know what? In fact... Well, I can't pick you up because I have no room for you. Um, might just eat you to free up one spot. Can I... Oh, you're still full. Shit. Um, right. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to put some things away. I'm going to put that bike just into the box just next to it so I can access it later if I need to. So many things to do. So many things to do. I have no time. I'm just like... I'm just real flustered today. I feel like I'm all over the bleeding shop. There's an hour's worth of fuel for you. That's probably way too much, actually. It'll take like most of you back okay i need arrow heads so i need to make uh my stone not my stone my iron bolts so i need all of you probably not a thousand of them. let's just go like 150 i reckon yep whack you on you've got enough fuel in you i'll grab myself some extra iron in fact yeah now you can just come with me straight away and put you in Put all of it in, because why not? Nice, you're ticking away nicely. All right, put the rest of these gubbins away. Open those books and see what I got. Oh, I'm starting to stack up my inventory real quick, though. So what books did I get? Skill magazines, open you, two spear books, two blade books, and two club books. All right, well, other than the spears, that was mostly worthless. How am I looking for making, like, blade traps or something, for example? Blade traps need traps 25... Uh, and I'm on 23. So I'm actually not too far away from... Ooh, making electric fences, blade traps, and dart traps. I mean, those are the three things that I actually like to use most of the time. Like, yeah, the shotgun auto turret would be good. And the SMG turret being a long way away probably makes sense given robotics are complex. But, all right, two more books. Two more books, you reckon? Does that actually tell me? I think it should. Boost loot. Uh, boost loot odds with advanced engineering, which is what I was already going for. I don't have any skill points to put you into, but that's where the next one is actually going. So, all right, at least I was on the right track. You should now have a good bunch for me. Thank you. Going to go bolts, like you saying. Iron crossbow bolts, whip up ooh, 180 of them. All right, not too shabby. Chuck you away. Fuck yeah. Fuck, I'm so excited for my new crossbow. I don't have a lot of mods to chuck into it. I did have a bunch back in the old base, but it's a long way to go back there. Maybe if I had the gyro, I would. But I will just chuck on the two times scope. It's not much, but for stealthy stuff, I mean, it's going to add some extra damage, but also really going to help me pinpoint my stealth shooting where I couldn't do that with the bow and arrow. That's what I'm most excited about getting the crossbow for in the first place. Nice. We are ready to rock and or roll. Speaking of rolling, grab the rest of you out of that. Cheers, knackers. I'll chuck you into there. Boop. I will just store the rest of that stuff in you for now so I can get rocking and rolling and go and see uh, old mates. You can get changed over. You can go back into that one. Nice. All right. 
Ready to go. Ready to go. Look at the fucking speed on the boy. Burning dinosaurs for vibrating pleasure. Given I do have those sugar bites already in my inventory. I don't have any more pumpkin cheesecake anymore. I could make myself some, but I'll have to wait. Actually, I need eggs to do that. But because I've already got that in my inventory in the, uh, the bikes pockets, I'm going to quickly do this quest on the way out. What are you asking for me? I'm going to go to the uh, to sub guide. Don't mind a cheeky sandwich if I do say so. Arlene just waiting for a bus. <laughs> I'll never get over that. I'll never not smile when something juicy like that happens. Old mate's coming to say day. Saw what happened to Arlene and thought, I want some of that too. Am I giving you the Arlene treat? Am I giving you chlamydia? And then continuing to fail to use my stick effectively. T1 clear. This looks like a pretty big tier one there, Cobber. Are, are you sure about this one? Oh, well, I've already I've already touched the marker, so I guess so. That looks like a corpse, not a zombie. I want to break in my uh, my brand new crossbow. Hold on. Chuck on the NVGs so I can see a little bit better. Who's waiting for me? Someone... Ah, oh, shit. How is a feral the first one? The first point one's a feral in a tier one? I think you might have your numbers confused. I'm actually just going to let him sit there and beat the door down a little bit. So when there is a gap like that, I'll be able to go get a hot stuff like you. Perfect. Open you up and finish you off. First crossbow kill. Well, I guess a half done, I suppose. Old mate can't believe it, but I definitely can. All right, you got to stop. you got to stop with all of the ferals coming to say good day. Boop. Ho, 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 ho. You lot are in trouble now. Unless I find three yetis in a fridge. Oh, I'm rolling on high. That's just another corpse. I'll leave you alone. Uh, there should be some more zombies in here, though. I want to get some... Damn it. I want to get some stealth shots. That was a bold shot with my crossbow, but I haven't got the opportunity to just yet. You're definitely dead. You're not. Now you are, though, and nothing for me to really grab through you. I will take you, though, for more mechanical parts and some leather. Anything fluid? Thanks. I'll keep you on me in case I accidentally set myself on fire again. I'm real annoyed at myself about that. Couple of purple office shares is lying about on the ground. I don't know who... Oh, lots of them, actually. I don't know who... Oh, shit. I don't know who lived here. That's the wrong thing. Oh, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You batted me a little bit there, Arles. I'm not super keen on it. Are you going to come over and say day through the door? Wait for the bonk. Bonk. Sit. Penetrate with the spear. Oh, I love it so much. Cheeky loot for me. Thank you. Why don't just cheeky pop those vitamins immediately to avoid getting infected? That sucked. That sucked. Freaking ferals come bolting out of nowhere immediately. Oh, gave me a panic attack. Rude. Oh, it's this place. It's this place. With the purple down lights, the purple chairs, and a bunch of PCs. I still, I'm still convinced that this is a direct reference to exactly me, and you could not convince me otherwise. Take all the purple chairs for my own, because they're mine after all. Hang on a second. Got a couple of, got a couple of skeletons in my closet, so you better stay in there before someone exposes them. Nothing else around. We're all good. Take all of you for me. Thanks. And also my computers. I wish I could have... Is there some way to like... I mean, you've got purple down lights now. How do I get purple down lights? How do I make my own purple lights for home? It's rude to tease with this stuff and not give me the opportunity to make it myself. Still haven't had the chance to use my crossbow for any stealthy purposes, which sucks. Anyone... That's an open safe over there. Anyone waiting for me though that I might be able to... There we go. Damn, it's another corpse. Where's all the not actually dead zombies? <laughs> like, I know you probably could have been a zombie at one point, but you've been devoured by your friends, but I want to pop someone who's kind of alive. Surely. Surely. What about up here? Can I... Can I see anyone? There's none. This, <laughs> this is the worst. All I want to do is have some fun and murder a couple of zombies while they're sleeping. But there's nothing here. There's a cop car just in the parking lot next to me. I might go and have a gander at that in a moment. Arlene's been protected by the uh, the awning above her. That's fine. I'll keep on pushing along then. Oh, that's a lot. I missed the Pidgey. I missed the Pidgey. Got her eventually. Oh, there's a couple of... There... Oh, I sent that Pigeon flying so far. I reckon I'll probably take this on with just my uh, my spear, though. That is a feral. Sit you down. Old mate is gone. He's staggering around like King Karul on his pirate ship. Oh, man, it's definitely dead. Just jiggling a little bit. Nah, we're fine. Nah, we're fine. All right, in that case then, right there. 
Oh, juicy. There we go. I finally got to get a stealth shot with my crossbow and put it right through his schnoz. Grab whatever loot I can. Start with the medical pile for another medical book and some honey. Thank you. Ammo pile. Scrap you for the iron. I forgot the crossbow bolts on his stack to 150. I've overestimated myself on that one. Some block picks. Lovely. Take that. And last but not least... Stop a book I've already read, some leather gloves, and some more crossbow bolts. All right, thank you. This is why you shouldn't roll with max stacks of anything there, Josh. Anything up that CP stop? Anything hiding for me? Cheeky. No eggs. Dang. Nothing in there. Ooh, something in there, though. Actually, this was a fetch, wasn't it? It was a fetch that I currently... Oh, I have done. Oh, it was a T1 clear, not a fetch. Okay, we're good. Anything under you? No, definitely not. I'll check the other side as well as by walking over it. Anything underneath? Nah, nothing. Nah, nothing. All right, I think I'm good to go. Short and sweet. All right, hot stuff. I am back. Quickly have a little gander at you. Chuck away what I don't need right now. Actually, I've got enough inventory space. It's all good. I've got to whip in one of those, though. Lovely. Also wear my XP gogs for that extra juicy XP for doing the quests. Come on, close the door behind me. There is still a way to double tap the doors, but it's less forgiving than it used to be. Got to be exceptionally quick with your fingers, and I'm definitely not that. G'day. Gratitude, Jolly friend. boy. <gasps> no, a needle and thread book with not volume seven, so not the one that I need. Um, I'm pretty tempted to just take the full grip mod so I can whack that onto my crossbow and make it even better. Yeah, I think I will. I think we'll give me that. Thank you very much. Any other jobs for me? They're all a long way away, so I'll try again tomorrow. While I've got my sugar butts rocking and rolling, you can take that one off me. You can take that one off me and that one off me. There might have been some more stuff to sell in the bike, but that's okay. I can do it another time. But more importantly, give me the double storage pocket mods. Thank you. Give me the cowboy boots purely so I can take the die out of it. In fact, real quick, modify that, modify that, and I'll sell that immediately back to you at... Wow, you cost me 700 bucks. You're going to buy it for 55. The markup here is insane. What else you got? Rifle books. Absolutely. Armor books. Sure. May as well just buy all of the books I can. Shotgun weekly. Yeah, nah. <gasps> yeah, no. I don't have money for that. I don't have money for that. I've been spending frivolously. I forgot that I'm poor now. Shit. I'll take you. I will take the eggs. Absolutely. No, I'm too poor for eggs. Damn it. He's also got a tools digest that was stacked differently to the rest of them. So I'm shit out of luck on that. I'm also too poor to buy my, bull uh, my bullet casings. I can't say apparently, but I can buy my bullet tips. Right. That has gone not great. If I'm being honest, I really thought I had plenty of dosh, but I forgot that I spent it all before. Uh, I'm going to have to come back. Hang on a second. Maybe there's some more stuff for me to sell you in my bike so I can get all the things that I need. Maybe not a grand's worth, but maybe some. Someone's knocking on the door. G'day. Stay down, please. What have you got? Anything good? I can sell you. I can sell you. I'll keep you, though. Mmm, that's not going to be enough. That's not even going to be close to enough. Oh, speaking of not enough, though, there's a there's a wandering horde wandering trade towards me. Well... I do have the sugar butts rocking at the moment, but I've got my spear of death to insert into everyone who wants it. I am a generous god of death. G'day, everyone. Get that penetrating power going. Arlene, don't get too excited. I promise you it's going to blow your mind, though. Stand up. Stay down. Missed it. Did none of you fucking ruin? None of you gave me any loot drops. There was supposed to be a buff for that, but I guess a buff isn't a guarantee, but it's still really let down. I sold the stuff, and I'm still so far short of where I need to be that I'm kind of the shit out of luck on that one. Modify you, you can have the slightly better pockets. We're edging ever closer to getting uh, to my max carrying capacity. There's some purple dye for you because you look so much better like that. All right, cheers, old mate. I'll see you again. Uh, I've got one skill point to spend, so that's going to go into advanced engineering. Give me a better shot at getting myself um, the blade trap books. Well, I'm actually not too far away from that. Maybe I should have put that point into daring adventure, though I think I'll just put the next one into that. That's good from the crossbow, and... Good from the crossbow. Oh, I'm really starting to find my feet with this thing. Oh, there's a firing range here. That's a real good spot for all things weaponry. It might have changed in the Alpha 21, but it was always really good to be in Alpha 20 and Alpha 19 when I think it actually came out. I might actually hit you up first thing in the morning. I don't have a quest for Trader to do before he opens up, so potentially getting out there nice and quick might be a, uh, a good shout. 
Is that what the JW stands for? It's the JW house that has all of the mushrooms in the basement. It's actually been updated and all sorts of new now with a well in the middle. I've always been curious what the JW means. As much as I like to think it referred to me, it definitely doesn't. It came out in Alpha 17 uh, when I started playing Seven Days uh, on YouTube anyway. Judy Witch. Well, at least we have an answer to that question. I didn't know I needed it. I'm a little bit sad about it, but information is always good. Because I'm a classy boy, I'm going to reverse my mini bike in so I can pull out nice and quickly tomorrow. Nice. You've got some stuff left over in you, so I'll take all of you. Put my spear back down to there because I was having a cheeky slurp out at the pond. I need to find a better way to get up there. I need to find a better way to get up and into my house. I could build like a hole through the roof, I suppose. I don't know. That's going to be a bigger question for later on. Close the door behind me because I wasn't raised in a barn. What a good day. What a good day that was. I've got a good lot of stuff to sell to trade in tomorrow. In fact, what's the time? I've got, I've got 30 seconds left and it's already too late. All right, never mind then. Never mind. I thought maybe I could get back out there on my sugar butts and maybe make it work, but nah. You can go into there. Medical stuff, that's probably you. Uh, rock bus can go in there as well. Materials, that one. You there. And tools and mods, you can have that one. Still need to like organize my inventory better. In fact, I might even start beating to death a couple of these extra blocks around here. Can I make a better axe yet? Steel axe. Still only to it soon. Uh, you're going to be... Which one were you again? It was the harvesting tools, actually. Yes, now we're still edging closer. Edging closer. Need more of them, but... Oh, that goes outside. Dang. The medical on the top of this box being a different way to everything else is annoying me more than it probably should to the point where I'm actually going to get a little bit rowdy and go, no, thank you. Going to break you and replace you so you're facing the right way. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do about my storage solution here. And I don't really know. I started carving out these windows. Well, not these, these windows. I started carving out these gaps to increase my storage and then thought, this would actually look sick. Oh, as the sun sets out there. Actually, it's a great, great point. This would look sick as some windows. So I'm going to quickly go storage. Get another rival storage box. Thank you. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, quickly grab my frames. Window full. Oh, yeah. So I go like that. I'll have to like fix up the roof a little bit to get it to work for me, but I reckon chucking in some windows through here, adding in some extra light, that's a pretty good option. There's so many good window options now. Look at this thing, a big arch window full, which I reckon is begging to be installed over here right at the end of my little building, which, I mean, I've got the little window already. Let's make a bigger one. Uh, where did you go? I've accidentally went out of my windows options. Um, what else you got? What in here gives me the tickles the most? Not industrial. I kind of want maybe just like window one. Although that's censored. Although said it kind of works, but I think my boxes are exposed. No, I need I need an edge one. I need an edgy window thing. I thought I was going insane, but no, nah, there's no there's no like regular window option that goes on this on the edge. Like there's the industrial ones, like these ones that sit on the edge. But I wanted. I wanted something with like some actual window panes on it. I guess I'm shit out of luck on that one then. Well, in that case, I'm going to go with three side up. Going to spin you right around. So you're, yep, that way. Put you like there. Put you like, hang on. Yep, like there. And I'm going to get the middle piece, which is that one. Can I go with copy rotation, please? Chuck you in. That looks good. So all I need to do then is fix up the sides and I've got a nice little window there to look at. Perfect. It's going to take me a bit to beat down all the wood through here to make it actually like seam up to the windows nicely, but I like that. I don't often build... I mean, I do kind of build bases a lot with windows, but not really like that. Normally my storage rooms are real like dark and condensed and claustrophobic, but I mean, look, I can face west out that way to watch the sun set. I can look out this way to see the sun rise. And given I don't have... I've accidentally marked my steel axe as a as a pinned what there we go get rid of you there we go but yeah I, I given i don't have the clock up all the time seeing the sunrise is going to be really bloody wonderful well i'll have to go through break down these blocks and get that working properly overnight so i can come back in the next episode ready to rock and roll i need to go back and sell some stuff and buy the rest of the things that i left behind at tradies all my arrow making material my eggs and that other harvesting book as well but i'll have to come back and get those things in the next episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if you liked make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to this channel 
follow me on Twitter. If I talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.